In this video, we're going to learn how to export a customer list to a .iif file, IIF file, and uh, import that file into a new company file. Why would you do this? Let's say you have come into a business and you're new in the business and the owner does not like the way that the old bookkeeper was keeping the books. He says to you, I want you to start a new file. But you know what? That customer information is really important. I want all that customer information moved over. All the existing accounts, all the accounts that we use currently. All right, that's a big deal. If you have a whole long list customer list, that's rekeying in a lot of information. But there's a way to avoid that, and it's called exporting your lists into IIF files. That's Intuit Interchange Format. All right, so I'm going to go ahead into my old file that I want to export some information from. Okay. So what I do once I'm in here, I go up to File, Utilities, Export, and export my list to IIF file. You can see here there's a whole lot of lists that you can export and move over. For now we're just going to talk about the customer list. In future videos, other videos, we talk about some of the other lists. Okay? When you're moving over the chart of accounts, customer list, vendor, employee, I suggest moving the major accounts like that over separately. When it comes to some of the additionals, you know, the payment terms, payment method, maybe you can move a couple of those together. And you can check off several of these and move several of them over to a new account. But when we're talking about a major part of the file, your customer list, I would move it individually. And here's why. I'm going to go ahead and export it. I'm going to export it to my desktop and call it customer list dot IIF. Notice that. And I'm going to save it. Okay, so it tells me in QuickBooks it's been exported successfully. So the first thing I do, so I don't get confused, is I'm going to go back to my new company file, my company LLC. All right, put in my password. When you're switching accounts, it's really a smart idea to use two separate passwords so that you don't get confused as to which accounts you're going to open up. Okay, so now to open up that IF file. Now you can just move the entire thing over. I could just import it right into QuickBooks right now. But instead, I want to go in and take out any of those accounts that are inactive, which, because that tells me that they're not current customers anymore. And my boss told me that he did not want current customers. So I'm going to go into Microsoft Excel here. This is the way to open the IIF file. If I were to just go in and try and double click on it, it's going to give me an error. Okay? So what you do is you open up Excel and you open it within Excel. So I say all the way up here, go to open. And I'm going to go to my desktop here. And right now, if I scroll down, I don't see that IF file that I just created. And that's because right now it's looking for all Excel files. So I need to choose all files instead. All right. Now when I go down, there's my customer list. So it's going to pop up this little text import wizard. Okay, because it, it's basically in a format that Excel recognizes, but not quite. So you can go through and click next, 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 but really Excel knows what to do with this. So you can just click finish. So it sets it up here. Now, it does look confusing because you're saying, what is all this information? These are custom name fields that you're allowed to use, but we don't want to focus on that right now because that's not part of what we're moving over. Okay, we're just going to focus on just the customers for this demo. All right, so I'm going to delete all that. Here I go. Here are my customers. This little exclamation in COST tells me this is the start of my customer list. So you can see here I have, what, what type is it? customer, what's the name, reference number, all this information's in here. But what I really want to focus on is way over on the side, I want to focus on, here are my custom fields, all the way over, 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 hidden or not hidden. Okay, what's that telling me is, is this account hidden? No. 
That means it's an active count. Is this account hidden? Yes. That means it's inactive. I probably don't want to move over the inactive accounts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this entire screen here and I'm going to sort it by that hidden title. Okay, everything gets sorted by hidden. So down here at the bottom, I have all my inactive accounts. Okay, so let's just go ahead and peek at one of these inactive accounts. Chris Baker. Uh, let's see, Sonia Bristol. Some inactive accounts there. You can see it says inactive. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. So these will not be moved over to my new file. These are old. That's old information, old customers. We don't need them in there anymore. All right. Then the other thing that you can do while you're in here, if you choose to, you can go ahead if, uh, you know, Christy here. Oh, look, this Christy's address isn't in this account, why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and move that down. Or, you know, the phone numbers aren't filled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy those down or change it. So you can add additional information in this Excel format and it'll come over into QuickBooks. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is and say save. It's gonna give me a warning. Every time you save it, it's gonna give you this warning. So you wanna just go ahead and say yes. And then close out. I just saved it, so I'm not going to save it again. Now going back into QuickBooks here, in my new company, my company LLC, right now, if you look, there are not any customers in there. So I'm going to go ahead and import my new customer list. I go up to Files, Utilities, Import, IIF file. You might want to choose Excel files. You might want to think you choose Excel files, but Excel files actually gives you a template that you can fill in information to import. IAF files gives a lot more information to fill in. Okay, Excel files are limited. So we want to choose IAF. Which IAF file do you want to choose? I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and choose my customer list here. And I double clicked on it and it says everything was imported. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Here is my customer list. Everything got moved over just as I was looking for it. That one change that I made under, under what was it, remodel bathroom here, I put in the bill to address, so it copied that over for me. And uh, the people who I deleted, obviously, don't show up by my list. And now I have my customer list entered into QuickBooks.